Hey guys, good morning. I want to show you guys something first of all. You see how I'm walking? All right. Yeah, I work out every day and everything. I do what I can. I have to. I have no choice. Um, on March 25th, I was due to go in and get a full hip replacement. Um, here's all my... This is where I went to get my heart checked before the operation. Here's all the information. Uh, I got this. I got my soap over there where I was supposed to scrub the area right before that the morning that I went in. Uh, I could barely walk this morning. Uh, I can't even. I could hear the bones. It's bone on bone. There's. It's called severe arthritis. There's. There's no cartilage left in the the arthritis. I can't even keep a straight. I can't even keep my voice straight. Um, it hurts so much right now. Um. I can't take painkillers because I'm a recovering addict. My fucking hands are shaking. I usually don't make the video this early. I usually wait about uh, an hour before uh, I'll take a two Excedrin. Excedrin is the only thing I can take, you know, over the counter pain medication. I'll usually wait and then I'll make the video. Um, so you have to excuse the hand shaking, and uh, I'm a little, I'm a little shaky. Uh, yeah, the pain is fucking unbelievable. Um, I could hear the bones. I could hear my femur rubbing in the, I, I could hear it clicking and cracking as I walk. As I, when I bend over, I hear all sorts of, I could feel and hear the ungodly sounds of my bones rubbing together. Why am I saying this? I'm telling you guys this, the, the people that are complaining uh, because they want to go back, they want to get things back to normal. They're tired of being inside. They're, they want to go to the bar. They want to buy their, their manure for their gardens. They, their rights are being infringed. They got taken away. They want to get back out. This is an American. Shut the fuck up. If I could deal with this fucking pain, I have no idea. On, on March 20th, the, the surgeon's office called me and said, all surgeries are being canceled. Right, I was. This is a full hip replacement I was going in for. I was fucking terrified. They're basically going to cut off the top of my femur and replace it, and it with the whole the whole unit. I didn't know that. I was fucking terrified, but I I needed it. I was looking forward to it. I was hoping I would be, because I'm so physically fit. I was hoping that I'd be um, okay again by by Memorial Day, that I'd be able to go to the beach. I've been going to the beach for fucking twenty years to Rhode Island to Mesquamacet. Uh, when they told me it was canceled, no fucking idea. Could be two months, could be eight months, could be two fucking years. I gotta live like this. The pain's getting worse. It's going down to my knee, it's going up my back. Pretty soon I'm not gonna be able to walk. Um, am I complaining about social distancing? Do I want things to get back to normal? Yeah. No, I'm not complaining, but do I want things to get back to normal? Yeah. Am I complaining about it? Am I out there fucking protesting and crying on the internet? My fucking rights got taken. I want to live again. No. No. Because because I, I don't even need to explain why. Um, today. I looked at the numbers today. And the uh, the new cases and the deaths both jumped up yesterday. On Monday, April 20th, um, the COVID virus takes four, uh, two to four to two weeks to 10 days. It's, 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 it varies to, uh, from contact to first symptoms. Therefore, all these protests last week, Trump supporting all these protests could have easily, easily been the new cases from yesterday so we'll see more we'll see we'll see and these protests these aren't the only people that are being morons uh, i guarantee you in every little town around this whole country you got little pockets of morons they're listening to trump liberate don't tread on me
and you're killing America. You're fucking killing America is what you're doing. Um, if this, if this, if this, if, the, if we get a second wave, and people actually, we actually start getting the economy back up, just getting up back up on its feet, and you guys kick its feet back out from underneath it with a second wave, you can kiss this fucking country goodbye. Don't, don't even call yourself fucking patriots. Don't, I don't want to hear your your bullshit about don't tread on me and the Tea Party and all that crap. I, I see these, I see these videos on the internet. Where you guys are harassing fucking hospital workers. The nurses, well, the nurses are standing in front of you guys trying to block block the intersection. I've, I've, I know you, you've probably seen that video. God bless the nurses, man. God bless them. Stop being morons. If you really care about this fucking country, wait. Just wait a couple more weeks. Fucking deal with it. Be a man. Don't fucking, you know what? I, I guarantee you that... 90% of these people complaining just want Trump. Just want Trump to be reelected. Re That's all they want. They don't give a flying fuck about the economy. They don't give a flying fuck about jobs or their money. They're, they're getting paid to sit at home. What do they fucking care? They're probably making, most of these Trump supporters are probably making more money from their Trump welfare checks than from their real job. So don't give me that shit. This is about Donald Trump. This isn't about... This isn't about the fucking economy. This is about being a, a patriotic American. My constitutional rights to congregate. Shut the fuck up. Take your guns and stick them right up your ass. And that's another thing. If you guys, the real men, don't need guns. You're dealing with other Americans. You're dealing with your next door neighbor. You're dealing with your people in your town. You don't need a fucking gun. The only reason you're carrying a gun is because you got a little dick. And you can't fight like a real man. It's the only reason. I see that fat fuck on the Minnesota state capitol uh, steps. I see that same fat fuck every time. This, this pathetic bunch of physical specimens fucking with half a brain out there. With their guns. Dressing up in their half-ass camo. Half of them got red bandanas, red gloves, so they make an excellent fucking target. Poor excuses for any kind of militia men or whatever they're alleging to be. Bags of Doritos hanging out of their pockets. Uh, it's just, it, it, you guys are a an insult to real soldiers everywhere. I'm not a real soldier, but I, I can't imagine what a real soldier would say. What do you look to you guys? You guys that were protesting on the Minnesota State Steps. <sighs> All right, I got to go take them. I can't even hold my fucking hand still from the pain. If I can fucking wait, if I can wait calmly like a real American for this to pass, if I could fucking sit here with my bones rubbing together and my nerves screaming, my pain up at 10 every day, then you can fucking wait to put fertilizer in your fucking garden and go to have a beer at your local tavern with the other with the other Trump Fucking morons. <sighs> All right. I'll talk to you guys in a little while. Have a good morning.